Hello viewers. In today's video, we're going to see reading for information. In fact, in our earlier videos, we saw reading for correspondence and apply a diagram. When you progress towards your third or fourth subsection, the difficulty levels increase, but it is not impossible. Believe me. Let's see what do we have here. Okay, self-pip reading for information. So when you read the first few paragraphs, the questions become easier and you can easily skim and scan the paragraphs to get the answer. Believe me, it's that easy. So question number one, there are three levels of secondary education. Is it in A, B, C or D paragraph or it's not there? Choose E if it's not there in any of the paragraphs. There are three levels of secondary education. So in the paragraph A, let's go chronologically. Education is one of the most important aspects of a person's development. It gives us the knowledge and the skills we need to function successfully in society. And it provides us with the opportunity to develop our potential as human beings. Education is considered a fundamental right in most countries, including Canada. This is reflected in a literacy rate of close to 100% and among the highest of any nation. The Canadian education system consists of various levels of schooling. As in most countries, the earlier years of education are compulsory while the higher years are optional. So the Canadian education system consists of various Levels of schooling is what is mentioned in paragraph A. So there are three levels of secondary schooling. That means it is not there. So option E is the right answer. Because in the paragraph it says that Canadian education system consists of various levels of schooling. That means it's more than two. So the answer should be E. All right then. Parents care about finding out about their children's progress. So we have to quickly skim and scan to see where there is a mention about parents, about uh, how they care about finding out about their children's progress. Is it an A, B, C, D, or it is not there? That means it's E. Let's move on to the paragraph B. Let's see quickly to skim and scan. In most provinces, basic levels of education are in order, kindergarten, elementary, or primary school, secondary school. So in the last few sentences, I do not even see if there is a mention of parents. We should go to that paragraph quickly. In C, in Canada, children generally start kindergarten at the age of five. And then although children generally proceed through the school systems from one grade to the next. Mostly I read the first few sentences and last few sentences. If I still don't get the answer, what I do is I will skim and scan to see the keywords, which is parents. In Canada, parents understand the importance of their children's education. They show interest in the parent-teacher meeting that occurs several times in a year in elementary school. So the mention of parents is here. During such meetings, the child's progress is discussed while both parents can be busy with work and maintain maintaining their households. They generally make the time to attend such meetings at all, at all levels of education, informal and formal. Testing is used to assess a student's progress. So parents care, care about finding out about their child's progress is there in D paragraph. So D is the right answer. Question number three. One province offers a pre-university program. Is it an A, B, C, D or E? Okay. One province offers a pre-university program. Okay. In most provinces, it's there in B. Basic levels of education are in order kindergarten, elementary or primary school, secondary school, which includes junior high school and high school and post-secondary. Post-secondary education includes technical schools, college and university. The education system is quite similar from one province to next. 
In Quebec, however, there is one more level of schooling between high school and university, CEGEP, which offers two and three year programs can be linked to a bridge between high school and university. So the answer to the question number three, one province offers a pre-university program is in Quebec. And we saw that answer lies in paragraph B. All right. Question number four, most Canadians can read. So we'll have to go and see if there is a mention of most Canadians can read. So where it is mentioned, quickly roll your eyes, skim and scan through the paragraph to see where there is a mention of most Canadians can read. So I see that in paragraph A, education is considered a fundamental right in most countries, including Canada. This is reflected in a literacy rate of close to 100% among the highest of any nation. That means everybody can read, isn't it? 100% means that. So the answer is A for question number four. Question number five, assessments provide important information. So where there's a mention of assessments provide. So in paragraph D, at all levels of education, informal and formal testing is used to assess a student's progress. Combined with report cards, testing is a way of parents, teachers and students themselves to track progress and to identify any issues that a student may have. So the answer lies in D. This is how you'll have to skim and scan. Believe me, this way you will get the answer very quickly. Question number six. Canadians believe that schooling is a basic right. Is it an A, B, C, D, or it is not there in any of the paragraphs? We have to see that now. Canadians believe that schooling is a basic right. So I have to quickly go and see where there is a mention of a right. So do I see it in paragraph A, basic right? Um, okay, let's quickly read the paragraphs. Education is one of the most important aspects of personal development. It gives us the knowledge and skills we need to function successfully in society and it provides us with the opportunity to develop our potential as human beings. Education is considered fundamental right in most countries, including Canada. So A is the right answer for question number six. All right, there are six grades in elementary school. Okay, A, B, C, D, or E. There are six grades in elementary school where there is a mention of six grades. So in paragraph C, in Canada, children generally start kindergarten at age five. In kindergarten, young children learn such fundamental skills as socializing, cooperating, reading, and printing. At age six, a child start, starts elementary school. In elementary school, spelling, reading, writing, arithmetic, or among the basic subjects that are covered, by the time a child reaches the age of 12, he or she will have completed grade six of elementary school. So the answer lies in paragraph C for the question number seven. Okay, question number eight. Students do not necessarily advance uninterrupted through the education system. That means what students do not necessarily advance to the next grade. So uninterrupted through the education system. So they have to either pass and move to the next level so let's move on to see where there is a mention okay while both parents can be busy with work and maintain their households uh, they generally make the time and attend such meetings at all levels of education formal and combined reports okay so d there is no mention although children generally proceed through the school system from one grade to the next it is 
not unheard of a child to either repeat a grade or skip a grade. So the it is mentioned here in C paragraph. So they do pass and move on to the next grade. So it is not uninterrupted. That's what it means. Okay. Question number nine. So I, I guess you got it. All right. The literacy rate is the highest of any country. The literacy rate, that means in Canada, is the highest of any country. So let's go and see whether it is highest. We saw already in one paragraph, there was a mention, education is considered a fundamental right in most countries, including Canada. This reflects in literacy rate of close to 100% and among the highest of any nation. So that means among the highest means even other nations, in fact, have 100%. That's what it means. So the Canada cannot be the highest of any nation. So the answer is E. It is not A, but it is E. Try to understand the question. The answers will fall perfectly right for you. All right, question number 10. The majority of nations require some level of schooling for its people. So some level of schooling. So let's see where there is a mention, some level of schooling. In Canada, parents understand the importance of their child children's education. They show interest in parent-teacher meeting that occurs several times a year in elementary school. During such meetings, okay, some level of schooling. some level of schooling. Okay, in most provinces, the basic level of education are in order kindergarten, elementary or primary school, secondary school, which includes junior high and high school and post-secondary. Post-secondary education includes technical schools, college. The education system is quite similar from one province to the next in Quebec, however. so some level of schooling. Is there a mention? The Canadian education system consists of various levels of schooling. In most countries, the earlier years of education are compulsory. So there is a mention in paragraph A. All right. So the majority of nations require some level of schooling for its people. Okay. So 11, question number 11, assessments occur throughout a student's education. I guess it is also mentioned in the assessment part in paragraph D, where it says that informal and formal testing is used to assess a student's progress combined with progress uh, report cards, progress report, and uh, testing a way in a way for parents, teachers tracking the progress to identify any issues that a student may have. So throughout their schooling, the assessment is done is what they are saying. So assessment occur throughout a student's education. So it is mentioned in D. Grade 11 comes after C, G, E, P in Quebec. Is it in A, B, C, D or E? We have to see that is a mention of C, G, E, P, which offers two and three year programs can be linked, likened to be a bridge between high school and university. Students complete grade 11 and then enter CE, GEP. So they complete the grade 11 and then enter the CE, GEP. So that means grade 11 comes after CE, GEP. No, it is not mentioned. So it is E is the right answer. I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Sridhar Santanam and I'm the founder of self -Up Academy. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and smash the like button also comment below. This way I'll be able to come up with more such videos in the future. See you on the other side. Thanks for watching.